Welcome to Eco Ask Why, a podcast that dives into industrial manufacturing topics and spotlights the heroes that keep America running. I'm your host, Chris Granger, and on this podcast, we do not cover the latest features and benefits on products that come to market. Instead, we focus on advice and insight from the top minds of industry because people and ideas will be how America remains number one in manufacturing in the world. Oh, that's why. I'm your host, Trish Granger. Let's get right into it. So we're hoping that you're liking the new format of Eco Ask Why. No, it's not as many interviews. We're kind of diving deeper into topics that we know matter to you. And today we're going to be expanding on a topic that I, for me, it's personally exciting because this is a big part of my career over, over my time at Eco. And we're going to be talking about the revolutionizing industry, the role of smart motor protection. I've spent a lot of time working on motors in our motor repair division back in the day. And it's just something that is near and dear to my heart. And I know for many of you, there's this dance that's going on in manufacturing and the the motor is taking the center stage of the dance, right? Because it's driving the rhythms of our, of your operations. Just think about all the pieces of equipment that you have in your plant right now that are making the process happen within all that equipment. We know that technology is evolving. The adoption of these new innovations, particularly around smart motor protection, is going to change the game. So we're, I'm going explain, we're going to expand upon two here today. We're going to talk about Eden C445 solution, as well as Rockwell Automation's E300. And these types of technologies, they're vital. And we're going to look at some significant areas that, of, motor pro, of motor protection technology that's going to give you some benefits into why, the, why you should even care about this, okay? And we're going to talk about efficient and robust electrical systems. So let's dive right into it. I know your, your one line is so important to you. I want to remind all the listeners out there, we have a really good episode on how to read a one line on Eco SY, as well as a, a, an article inside of our blog. So if that's something that you're interested in, we'll have some links in the show notes for you out there. Go check that out. We'd love for you, for you to get that in your hands as well as the hands of the people who that really would serve well inside your inside your uh, facility. So check that out again. That's, that's Eco Online. You can check out how to read a single line, okay? All right, so now the key benefit number one I want to really expand upon today is to start thinking about together with you all around smart motor protection is the enhanced reliability. Okay, and and that leads to prolonged equipment longevity. I mean, really, that's what it's all about. So traditionally, I mean, we ran the motor repair services in 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 the past. The reliability of electric motors was really ha- dependent on how much actual manual monitoring that you did, and you had different types of protections that you had available for these. And all this was good, but it had challenges, and a lot of those challenges were, were around. Who was collecting the data? How often were you looking at the data? You know, it was a lot of times it was snapshots are right there in the moment versus looking at a, 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 an ongoing continuous loop of data in the moment, right? However, we have smart motor protection now. And this technology, just like the, the 445 and the E300, they've changed everything. And we started to change everything about our basic ass- assumptions on motor protection because we're looking at real time information. And that changes, that changes so much. Okay. Because keen insight that we're able to get to the actual performance of the motors really matters because you can start by identifying irregularities such as overheating or voltage imbalances or fail or potential failures or, or, or things that have come, come onto of the condition of the motor that can actually, you know, take away its run life. And what you're doing here is if you're looking at it continuous on time. Wow. At that point, your liability is going through the roof. And you're actually mitigating that downtime and extending the lifespan because you're able to see what's going on in the equipment. And it's not just on the, the emphasis here is not just on the products, but on the, sh- on the shift of the approach. We're going from that reactive, right? Where we're going to really, when motor fails, need to do something to proactive. Now, I know there are steps in between. I get you have vibration programs, you have motor reliability programs. Heck, we used to run some of these. I totally get the value of that, right? I'm not, we're not saying don't do that, but if you're not incorporating smart motor protection along with those technologies, you're missing a big opportunity right here. Because every moment of downtime incurs costs. Let's just be real. And if you want to enhance your reliability, 
you use smart motor protection and you use it as a linchpin as a, 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 for, for you as a manufacturer to have that uninterrupted operations. Because we know that's what you want. We want you to avoid that those catastrophic failures, those downtimes that you're not planning for, that you have to shut a line down for, that disrupts your, your people, your flow, your product, your output. All that stuff makes a big stress point for manufacturing. We get it. So smart motor protection helps you can have that continuous production flow, okay, and increased overall efficiency. So think about it as, as well from this standpoint. Consider the broader implications of this of this enable, enhancement right here, because you're grappling with technologies that that are that are that are happening in a highly competitive industrial market. Let's just be real. So to meet these production targets without interruptions. That becomes a strategic advantage that you have that others don't, <laughs> okay? Because your clients, the people that you're selling your products to, they're going to start to see the value and in the, in, in the reliability that you're able to deliver as a manufacturer with your process. So I'm telling you, it has a bigger implication. This smart motor protection technology, everything that's changing out there in the world of industrial um, and industrial manufacturing, this is not a piece you just want to overlook because there is so much to the motor circuit it's particularly as someone who loves the motor circuit, and, we, and this is where this is really where we try to spend a lot of time at Eco and trying to help others understand their motor circuit. So this key benefit again of enhanced reliability can't be underemphasized enough. I'm telling you, this is a great chance for you to look at. All right, now the second area I want you to think about when it comes to smart motor protection is that actual the way that you can optimize your energy efficiency. Okay, because we know. That if you're out there, you're running a manufacturing facility, it's all about making sure that we're efficient, right? Because that landscape that's out there right now, that in energy efficiency is not only desirable, but it's critical. Because look at your energy bill each and every month. If you don't have access to that, I guarantee your energy bill what's in your manufacturing plant is astronomical. Because motors, electric motors, they consume a lot of current. And that traditional motor protection falls short and just really getting down to the, the granularity that's needed to understand the true requirements of the electric motors. Because let's just face it, if they could just all be operating in a lab, they, we probably wouldn't have very many motor issues. But they're not. They're operating in an industrial environment. And when we know that, we have to treat them differently. Okay. And when you have the opportunity opportunities to use technologies like the C445, like the E300 from Rockwell, that stands out because of the because of the optimal energy efficiency that it, it inhibits. Okay. So these systems empower manufacturers with lots of detailed insights into the consumption per, patterns. And what they're doing, they're using a lot of sophisticated monitoring and analytics. And then through that, your operators, the people that are actually operating your equipment, they can identify inefficiencies and implement corrective measures. So it starts changing the, the, the game because at the, along the way, you're aligning your operations with the push towards sustainable and eco-friendly manufacturing. Everybody wins here in this scenario because the impact of, of energy efficiency on operational costs is immense because you had that initial investment in, mar in smart motor protection that you have to make, right? And you may think that, you know what, that seems significant on all my motors. And you're probably right. So be selective here. And think from a long-term standpoint, because the long-term savings occurred through that optimal energy protection, it's going to be significant. It's going to make a big deal. And it's going to far outweigh those initial costs that's going to occur. And you need to be thinking about the environmental sustainability, because that forefront of that, we said we know so many corporations out there, this is a big area of focus, of, of responsibility. And when you start implementing technology like this, it's going to really new, move the needle. And it's, it's going to align to that manufacturing process, the things that you're doing, to your expectations. And this moves beyond just cost savings. When you're optimizing energy usage, you start contributing more to environmental conservation. You just have ways to do that. You can align your practices to what's going on from a broader standpoint to, to your overall social responsibilities. This is a big deal. This is an opportunity with smart motor protection to really put that focus on energy consumption and align everything there to help you shape your manufacturing process from an economical standpoint and environmentally as well. Because I know that's big. That's a big priority for everybody out there. So I know optimal energy efficiency, key benefit number two. Now, the third benefit I want you to think about 
as we work through this together, is the proactive maintenance strategies. And that means you're, you're going to start turning that downtime into uptime. And now I probably got a few people that are like, oh, really? Yep. So here's how it works. The concept of predictive maintenance. Again, I've already told you about that. We've done, we used to do predictive maintenance. I've managed predictive maintenance programs. I absolutely love them. They, but they are a cornerstone to smart manufacturing and smart motor protection is instrumental. And if you're not incorporating this, you're missing a chance. You're missing an opportunity because that traditional maintenance, it has, it has an approach, right? And what is that approach? Typically, if something's happening, I need to go take care of it. Whereas if you're moving to that proactive maintenance, you're really shifting the game because you're not just thinking about breakdowns or the cost that it's associated. Or how much is going, how long, can, how quickly can we get this back up? But you've changed your mindset. Now, the C445, the E300, they, they usher in a new era of maintenance strategies because you're looking at a more proactive approach, that continuous monitoring continuous of those motor parameters that are important to you that allows your systems to predict potential issues before they actually escalate into something you can't control, like a critical failure. I don't want you to have critical critical failures out there. And this foresight empowers maintenance. And that's awesome. When you can start empowering maintenance teams, it changes the game because then they can start scheduling, get ahead of, ahead of target and not be stressed out and not have to be under the spotlight and able to do things to avoid that, that emergency situation that when you're in, when you are in an emergency, that's when mistakes typically can happen because the pressure's up and you're shifting from that reactive to that proactive. And this is a mo, uh, this is a monumental change right here for industry because you start embracing technology like smart motor protection and you're able to move from that unplanned downtime to a streamlined maintenance of operations reducing that overall cost right to keep that equipment running and this is about a transformation again of downtime that you that's unexpected to plan because we're not going to say you can never get rid of downtime because that's just not a reality you're going to have downtime but wouldn't you rather control it control the controllables Take the variables out of the equation that you don't under, that you, that you, that are out of your hand. And you do that by making sure that you're using technology that is available right now to help you move the needle down the field. Okay. All right. Now think about this shift overall and the overall efficiency of your plan as well. Cause that unplanned downtime as, res, as a, a result of those unexpected equipment failures. <laughs> well, that has cascading results, right? The, the, the dominoes keep falling because you didn't, next thing you know, you're changing up the schedule. You're changing up your order of fulfillment. Your customer satisfaction may be going down. But if you're proactive here, okay, if you're proactive, you can use a technology like smart motor protection and really start, start charting a course towards continuous, uninterrupted operations with your efficiency going up. So again, that's the, that's the key benefit number three. So I really want you to think about this as we start exploring these technologies together with smart motor protection. The 445 by Eaton, the Rockwell E300, they're really great examples of smart motor protection technology from a broader, from a broader landscape out there, this, that's out there. There's lots of innovations aimed at, in, in, aimed at enhancing your industrial processes and manufacturers out there like you, like you're listening, you have to navigate these technologies right. You need to make sure that the technology that's out there is addressing the specific need that you have with the features and benefits that you need and the capabilities that you need to, to, to address your problem. And you have to understand some of these nuances. And you do, to do that, it takes time because you need to be able to explore the comp how, how compatible the technology is with your existing system. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, a known uh, variable that you need to understand. And you need to consider scalability. How can you take this and scale it out throughout your manufacturing plan? Because the, the objective is not just to, to adopt technology. Anybody can do that. But you need to strategically integrate solutions that's going to put you in a position where that manufacturing operations that you're, that you are actually in charge of is headed in the direction that you want with more efficiency, and more resilience. At Eco, I'm just going to be straight up with you. We understand this, and this is where we can really help because we have a couple of innovative labs in Virginia and in the Carolinas where you can really get hands-on, and I mean hands-on, with the latest technologies out there. Just like we're talking about here today with the e, with the Eaton C445 and the Rockwell Automation uh, E300, you can get in these labs. You can explore. You can bring in your 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 
situation. And our product management team is ready to help you. Hey, let's figure this out. Okay. So again, check out the show notes. We'll have a link there where you can actually schedule time in our lab directly. It's pretty awesome how we have this set up because we want to give you the opportunity to get hands on because I want you to make empowered and informed decisions. And you do that by understanding what you're, what, the technology you're working with, right? That's how you, that's how that, that education and that, that confidence is built. Now, as you start implementing, this stuff to get this stuff into your, your plan, like technology like this, you need to start thinking about a phased approach. Okay. Start thinking about your evaluation. How are you going to install it? And then how are you going to continually optimize it? If you do that, you're going to start getting more and more advocates within your facility. When you collaborate with experts in the field like Eco, you, you leverage the guidance provided by the vendors, like we're, like we're talking about here by going to one of our labs. You can start really changing the culture and that culture is going to be a continuous improvement culture. And that's a big deal. So as you start tr- thinking about smart motor protection, don't just think of it as a technology up- upgrade, but think from a more holistic standpoint for how you can actually perceive, manage, and optimize your process. This is really where it's at. Since simple technology like this can really be a, a catalyst to help you move forward. Okay. And so opportunity for you to explore things here. So we have resources for you, like the C445. We have an integration guide. So again, check out the show notes. We want to have those resources available because we know it's not just, you can't just select it. You need help implementing it as well. And that implementation, that's where the rubber meets the road. And that's where you need to make sure you're partnering with vendors that, that are going to support you, that have the expertise first and foremost, and that can be there with you in the trenches. And that's what we want to do for you here at Eco. So just start as you start thinking about this, this, this smart more protection technology, particularly the four, the Eaton from C four four five and the Rockwell E three hundred. Think about just past the feature, right? Not not just the features and benefits, but again that fundamental shift in the approach from that reactive to the manual methods to proactive to now you have technology driven solutions, and this is far beyond the products themselves, guys. This is this is this is much bigger because we're talking about enhanced reliability that's in, that's ensuring that uninterrupted operations and that plant, that downtime's going down and your fiscal impact of that downtime is guess what that's going down as well and you're able to actually optimize your energy usage and you start aligning these practices and these growth and next thing you know you have a lot of advocates on your side because i'm telling you you just is what it's all about is get continuing to be more and more competitive out there from an industrial lamp, the, the industrial landscape. And when you think about the industrial revolution where it's headed, where it's headed now, you have to have technologies like smart motor protection. That's, that's undeniable. You cannot run a facility unless you have the, the most important data at your fingertips because it's a cornerstone. If you're going to build resilient, efficient, future ready manufacturing ecosystems, you have to have this information. You have to have this technology. Because we're trying to transform the impact with technology like this as a beacon for industries that not just to, to produce products, but to have those overall solutions that elevate your operations. So, again, big deal here on how smart motor protection can work for you. And as you stand on the cusp, you start thinking about the future for your manufacturing plant and the role of smart motor protection and how that's going to work for you. I, I encourage you to do some exploration. Look, do some, do some, do some research on your own, right? Start thinking about intelligent motor management from a broader standpoint. And let's see how, how that can actually have an impact in your facilities. Because I'm telling you, you're going to see more and more of a drive where we need to have interconnected systems. You're going to want systems that talk to each other. You're going to have data driven insights, not just how I feel about things, but what does the data say? And you want to start moving more and more and more into that proactive maintenance management right because that's a that's a lower cost model from a stamp particularly as you know you're not working from a reactive <laughs> and all this all this is is happening at the same time that the market the market that whatever market it's you're serving is demanding more and more and more so again it's not just a piece of the component right this is this is this is this is a catalyst that's going to move you forward and when you start investing in navigating a landscape like this you really need to have partners on your side like Eco 
that can come along the journey beside you. Okay. Because it's, 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 it really starts with just a single step. And that step involves that, that initial exploration, evaluation, and a commitment to the technology that's going to do, that's going to serve you the best. So don't miss this opportunity here. And even if it's not eco, find a, a company that you can work with that you trust, that, that is transparent, that is open, that's going to give you the, the information that you need. I'm telling you, be careful of feature and benefit presentations. This is just, you know, this is from experience here. While features and benefits are okay, you need to know for you what's most important and rule everything else out. You know, sit everything else on the side. If you get a, a, a this and, that's great, but make sure that you're not just, you know, blown away by all the features and benefits. And the next thing you know, it doesn't have what you really need to move you forward. And then once you understand the technology that you need and the features and benefits that you need, start figuring out how you're going to integrate that. Okay. If I had this information, how could I actually pull this information in to my system to make better decisions? And once you get to that level of thinking and then prove it and prove points, I'd also encourage doing smaller tests, not big tests, do small tests and see how the technology works. Then when some initial advocates, you know, think big, act small, you do that, things start changing. Because the call to action is clear. I am absolutely clear. You have to embrace the future. You need to start investing in smart motor protection. You got to start positioning your manufacturing ecosystem, ecosystem rather, as a beacon of efficiency, resilience, and innovation. Because this market's changing. It's the toughest we've ever seen. It's not going to get any easier. You have to be out there. You have to be thinking. You have to be looking for little edges and, and, and advantages. And smart motor protection is a great way because the last thing you want is in the middle of the night to get that unexpected call that this motor asset just went down in production line. It's not, it's not operating. Now, can that always go away 100%? I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say yes, but I can tell you one thing. You can take a proactive approach with technology like this to put yourself in a much better position where those calls are at least minimal, at least minimal, and you can control your controllables. So start looking at smart motor protection. If you think technology like this and experts in this technology, they are at your fingertips. They are, they are here. For one, our team at ECO, I've mentioned this a few times, but we are ready to be your partner. We are ready to serve. We have experts in the area of smart motor protection that's going to leave you confident, confident as you move forward. So we'll put a link in our show notes as well. If you want to connect with us directly, we'd love to hear from you. This is what we do at ECO. We try to come in people and ideas over products. We try to make sure that we're putting everything we can in front of you to help you make the best decisions moving forward. And we, we're very passionate also about smart motor protection. If you, have, if you can't tell, I'm pretty excited about this one. We got to, we put our calendar together and said, okay, what were we working on next? And this one came up. This was like, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be awesome because I know the value. When you look at the stats out there on how much consumption, energy consumption is in motors in the industrial manufacturing facilities, it's unbelievable. And just think about that, right? That's your biggest cost line on your P&L inside your manufacturing plant. Why would you not want to put some protection around it? Why wouldn't you want to do everything you can to make sure those assets, those critical assets are going to deliver for you when you need them? Because we know at the end of the day, you don't want to, you don't want to pay for an electric motor. What are you ultimately paying for? You're paying for a rotating shaft that's going to develop, deliver torque that you're going to use to move a process down the line. You don't want to think about the motor. So if you don't want to think about the motor, consider smart motor protection as a part of your overall strategy for your motor management system. And when you start incorporating that into the overall scheme, it changes the game. It really does. So again, connect with us. You can always head over to ecoonline.com as well. Lots of resources there. We'll have blogs there. We'll have all sorts of ways where you can learn more. Again, check out our, our system design page. If you have a new system design, you want to start thinking about how smart motor protection is involved, let us know. If you have an existing single line or one line, you want to, okay, all right, Eco, how can you help us make, make this, uh, uh, more uh, advantageous with smart motor protection in the future or smart motor technology. Let's take a look at it with you. This is what we do. We are experts on the motor circuit from an automation, from a power, from a networking standpoint. We have people, we have resources, we have teams ready to jump in and serve. So again, reach out to us, let us know. You can, you can follow us at, at eco online. That's E E C O online.com. That's our website. And if you think this is a, this podcast is, is helping you, be a better just leader within your manufacturing facility, 
sharing with others. This is what it's all about. Use information like this to help you continue to grow in your career. If you would leave us a, a rating and review, that would be awesome. We'd love to connect with you. You can connect with me directly on LinkedIn as well. I'm, I'm very, try to be very active and support all the things that we're, built, we're building at Eco and just connect with our Eco electrical equipment company LinkedIn page as well. We put a lots of great information out there. Lots of great information where you can connect we'll, and we'll make sure we have that link in the show notes as well for you. So you can follow us on, on Eco uh, LinkedIn and each month, on the Eco LinkedIn page, we put out a newsletter. It's a great way just to get more and more information, more and more uh, data at your fingertips to make better decisions. So there you go. Would love to know what your feedback is of the new Eco Ask Why, how things, are, which, how it's being received by you all. Thank you for all that are listening. We know a lot of you out there that are, that are still following us, that you're back following us now. So thank you so much for that. Uh, we'd we'll love to hear insight on what you hope that we cover next. So you can always reach out to us. You have, we'll make sure we have some links to, to our, the way you can c- connect with us directly in the show notes as well. Would love to get your feedback, your insights to some tech. What, what is the technology you like for us to cover? What's an area that you have questions about in your industrial manufacturing process? Because at the end of the day, people and ideas over products, you are what's most important, the listener and the people that we serve inside industrial manufacturing facilities. So we want, we want to serve you. We want to help you. We want to help you grow. And again, I hopefully this conversation on smart motor protection has at least opened your eyes to the technology. Now go take some action. Invest a little bit of time. Come to one of our labs. Let's all just grow together, okay? All right, well, give us a rating review. Thank you again for your time. Looking forward to to seeing you next time on Eco Ask Why. And remember, amongst all this stuff, what? Keep asking why. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com.